All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahak, Wadash, Lam Yon. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach for the last days and who are the true leaders of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, pushing where the truth and sincerity, making the call and election sure, making the body's living sacrifice. And I want to give a humble salutation to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Uh, come back at you with a quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, representing Cleveland Grinch, Branch of Great Millstone. I'm going to say to Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yashai, forgive me the spirit and have mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, I just want to touch on a quick topic uh, about the importance of Hebrew, all right? And, you know, this is this is beginning with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and, and Lord willing, this, 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 it'll be, uh, you know, um, edifying and inspiring for, you know, other brothers because the, the, the Hebrew language is important. All right, now when you even even in the movies, you watch the old, um, you know, uh, movies with Charles, uh, uh, the the Ten Commandments movie with Charles and Heston. You know, uh, you know when you when you watch the movie after he received the Ten Commandments from from uh, from Yahweh Shai, all right, on the on the Mount Sinai, you can see that it's written in, in Paleo Hebrew. Okay, so Esau knows what's up. All right, they try to, you know, this this uh, modern Hebrew, the Assy Assyrian Hebrew. Okay, is uh, is um, is the is a, is another dialect. All right, that that was forced upon our people. Okay, but the Lashwan Kodash, which mean which means the holy, uh, which is which means the holy tongue. Okay, is the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Okay, this is what our forefathers spoke. Okay, this is what, uh, and this is what we have to, this is what we have to get back to. All right, so we're going to start off um, with the prologue of Sirach. All right, because this is, uh, it's, it's important, man. All right, because you, you know, we're going to get it. It's going to be in here. Uh, let's see. Um, this is the prologue of Ecclesiasticus, uh, Sirach. All right, right here. Um, uh, let's start right here. It says, Wherefore, let me entreat you, entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us, wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret, right? It says, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. It says, and not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Okay? So this is important. All right, this is why, uh, uh, you know, your, 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 your neighborhood Christian Bible thumper can't get it, man. Okay, because they don't understand the, uh, the, the, the breakdown of, of, uh, of, of the Hebrew. Okay? And then you got to know some Greek in the, for, the, for the New Testament. Okay, but, we, but we, we, we are Hebrew Israelites. Okay, Hebrew is our language and Israelite is our nationality. Okay, so we have to, we have to understand uh you know the um you know what to you know practice man you know what i'm saying we this what we're speaking is english language is, is a captivity language okay this is the language of our oppressor all right so we got to go back to the old days you know what? let's get a quick precept let's go to uh jeremiah uh the sixth chapter In the 16th verse, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for what? Ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. All right, but they said we will not walk therein. All right, so we're, we're seeking the old paths, man. In the beginning of that, of that old path is not only the, the customs and the, and the practices of our, of our forefathers, but what? The, the language. Okay, that's why in the Apocrypha said that the things 
uh, the same things uttered in Hebrew and what translated into another lang uh, another tongue have not the same force in them. All right. So this is why it's important to learn Hebrew prayers. Okay, that's what I'm practicing on. You know, because when you say these prayers in English, it doesn't have the same force in it, man. Okay, he, uh, Hebrew is a language of the heavens. All right, let's let's see what Yahweh Shah said um, when he when he knocked Saul off his horse. Uh, Acts twenty six. Acts twenty six. and verse fourteen. Uh, it says, and we were and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the what in the Hebrew tongue. Saul, Saul, why per why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Okay, so Saul heard a voice that was in the Hebrew tongue. All right? And it says, uh, verse 15, and, and I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecuted. So Yahweh Shai was speaking to Paul in the Hebrew tongue. Okay, this is the importance of Hebrew, man, because this is the, like I say, this is the, this is the, the language of the heavens, man. This is the language of our forefathers. This is the this is the language that 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 you have power uh uh and uh, that that gives power to your prayers. All right, so we take we take these things seriously, man. You know, let's go to um let's go to the, to the Tower of, of Babel, uh, Genesis eleven. Genesis eleven and one it says, and the whole earth was of one tongue. A slaki of one language and of one speech. And what was that speech? That speech was Hebrew. Okay? Because we already know, we, we, like, like it says in Acts, that Yahweh Shah spoke Hebrew. Okay? So that's the language of the heavens. So from the beginning of creation, uh, everything was, was, the language was Hebrew. Okay? And everybody on the, on, the, on the earth spoke one language and of one speech, and that speech was Hebrew. All right, and when we jump down uh, to verse six, because this is where you know, uh, you know, they were uh, trying to build a tower up to heaven, you know, and 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 Yahweh Bashem and Shaka few uh, confounded their language. All right, uh, uh, verse six it says, and and the Lord said, behold, the people is one, and they all have one language. All right which is Hebrew, okay? The original language, all right? It's, it's not a coincidence that uh, uh, most of these uh, uh, letters and uh, dialects of uh, different languages all uh, resort back to the Hebrew, man, the Paleo-Hebrew. Okay? Even the first two letters of... Uh, uh, the the Hebrew is uh uh but this is this is in the Assyrian all right but it's Aleph and, and Beta okay that's where you get the that's where you get alphabet from all right so see and, and see that's where you get it and then you go, and then it translates into the Greek you know what I'm saying then you got uh, Alpha and uh and, and Beta okay. So you see, every, all these languages are are, are 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 based off of the Hebrew tongue. All right, it says, um, and the Lord said, "Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they do, uh, this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do." It says, uh, "Let us go, let uh, go to, let us go down." And there confound their language that they might not understand one another's uh, speech. Uh, jump down to verse nine. It says, "Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth." You see, so this is this is where you get uh, Babel, man, uh, confusion. Okay, uh, let's you know let's get that word Babel.
Strong's H 894. Bavel. Bavel. All right, Babel. It says Babel or Babylon, okay? Meaning confusing. Confusion by mixing. All right? So this is the this, so this is why uh Yahweh Bashim Shai had to confound the language, okay? Because everybody was speaking Hebrew. All right? So this is why you now you have all these different languages that is, that are so closely related to the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Okay? Um Let's go to Isaiah. I want to keep this short. Uh, 19. And verse 18. It says, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the lang language of Canaan. Okay? And that language was, was Hebrew. Okay, this is a, a future prophecy. All right? It says, And swear to the Lord, uh, to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahshai of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. Okay, so this is what's happening right now, but we're coming back to our original language. All right, because you, this this is Isaiah nineteen is a, is a uh, is a future prophecy about the land of uh, Egypt, which we are in right now. All right, so this is this is where we're going to resort back to our true language, man, because there's power in the Hebrew in the, in the Hebrew. All right. Um, let me see if there's something else I can think of. Uh, let's get this real quick. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 9. It says, uh, for then I w uh, will I return to the people a pure language. That they that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve Him with one consent, okay. And that pure language is Hebrew, okay. And and this is this is a twofold, okay, because the the elect will be will be well is will have that pure language of the 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 the, uh, the doctrine, okay, speaking on one consent. All right, but the second fold is the pure language of Hebrew. Okay, so that way we can call upon the name of the Lord, man, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shot. All right, so uh, you know, just 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 quick uh, quick things, man. You know, I'm saying the Lord's prayer in Hebrew is important. You know, the uh, the brother just sent me a, uh, you know, the prayer of uh, Psalms 51 and 11. Um, you know, take not the uh, Holy Spirit from me. That's what that's a prayer from David, King David. Okay, so we utter those things in Hebrew, man, because it has power, man. It has more power than 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 uh than it does in in the in in this English language, man. Because when you speak English, man, it's a cursed language. All right, so we have to resort back to the old uh, the old path, man. Seek ye the old paths. All right, so Lord, whether this was edifying, I'm going to give all honor and glory and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem or Chachakodash Lamlam Yom. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. I'm saying Kwame Asherala, Baba Ball, Shalom.